And all stations, I just uh, we have experienced an anomaly. Rocket Lab made another attempt to launch its electron rocket after suffering a mission failure in September, where Capella Space's satellite was lost due to an electrical arc in the rocket's upper stage. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The FAA gave Rocket Lab the green light for this mission entitled The Moon God Awakens, which launched successfully from Launch Complex 1 December 15th in New Zealand at 5.05 local time. Electron has lifted off from Launch Complex 1 and we are 34 seconds into our flight. With Electron now clear of the pad, soon we will approach max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure, the moment of the most amount of stress against the rocket. So let's listen in for the call from Mission Control that Electron has passed max Q. Beaker supersonic, approaching max Q. High voltage discharge, nominal. Clear max Q. And there you have it, Electron has cleared max Q. A beautiful and nominal mission so far. Now up uh, 15 kilometers in altitude as the rocket reaches speeds of more than 2100 kilometers. Next up are three mission milestones that happen in quick succession. First up, we have MECO, or main engine cutoff. This is when all nine Rutherford engines on the first stage throttle down and then shut off completely. Very quickly after that, we have the separation of the first and second stages, and you'll see that main booster tank fall away from Electron's second stage. We then have the ignition of the single Rutherford engine on Electron's, Electron's second stage, excuse me, as the mission that continues to orbit. Stage. Those calls should be coming up from our operators and mission control very shortly. Stage one propulsion holding nominal. Stand by for Miko in roughly 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to Miko. Entered burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage operation successful. Stage two ignition confirmed. As you can probably tell from that applause, we have had a successful Miko stage separation and second stage engine start for Electron. Up next will be the fairing jettison, where the two halves of Electron's protective fairing split and fall away from the vehicle to expose IQPS's satellite to space in preparation for payload deployment. And we might see those two halves on screen too as we clear that next milestone. Fairing jettison succeeded. That was them there on your screen. Electron's fairing halves have fallen away as planned. At three stage minutes two, and 42 seconds into the mission, the single Rutherford engine on Electron's second stage continues to burn bright as we make our way to orbit. High we have a new view nozzle. of the engine's nozzle that includes a nitrogen bottle that you can see on the top left of your screen, which has been introduced as part of an update to the second stage system. Now this is providing pressurised gas to the enclosure covering the, stage, the second stage electrical system, helping to minimise the chances of electrical arcs. Stage two propulsion. Soon we'll reach a mission milestone unique to Electron, the battery hot swap. Electron's fuel pumps are battery powered, and once we deplete the first set of batteries, they're of no use to us anymore, and so we swap them out with a fresh set, ejecting the depleted ones so that they don't hitch a ride to orbit. 
that milestone should be coming up at around 6 minutes and 43 seconds into the mission, and so we have a while to wait for that milestone just yet. We are now 4 minutes and 42 seconds into flight and well on our way to orbit. So far, we have successfully lifted off, cleared the pad and passed through Max-Q, as well as had main engine cutoff and stage separation. Now, attached to Electron's second stage is the kick stage, where you can see IUQPS's satellite right there, which is poised for deployment to a 575 kilometer orbit. If you take a look at the top graph on the right there, you can see that we have about 61% of propellant remaining, which will take us through to about T plus nine and a half minutes, where we will have engine shutdown and kick stage separation. 40 seconds remaining, guidance is nominal. The Stage 2 Rutherford engine continues to perform nominally and Electron is climbing steadily to its target apogee of 575 kilometers above Earth. And what a beautiful view we have so far. The IQPS payload atop the kick stage is less than an hour away from its home in orbit. Throttling down. HVB discharge nominal approaching. As we approach battery hot swap in the next 30 seconds or so, keep your eyes peeled because sometimes you can catch a glimpse of these battery packs falling away. Reminder that it will look a little different than usual due to the remedial work done on the stage two power pack. Let's listen in for the call out for mission control. Swap successful. That was the call that battery hot swap is confirmed and the mission is proceeding as planned. In about three minutes, Battery Electron's second confirmed. stage will experience SECO or second engine cutoff. Now, much like main engine cutoff, the stage, stage two, two Rutherford will them. throttle down before the kick stage separates as it continues on to payload stage. deployment. HVB battery discharge holding nominal. All right, a quick check in on the dials at T plus seven minutes and 28 seconds. Electron is traveling at a speed of over 17,000 kilometers per hour and approaching an altitude of about 242 kilometers, which with some quick mass brings us another 300 or so kilometers to go in this mission. Now, after we reach that target, we will have a coast phase of about 45 minutes as the kick stage scoots around the other side of Earth and back into position, ready for payload deployment. Stage two propulsion still holding nominal. The team and mission control are closely monitoring the stage two burn as we get closer and closer to SECO or second engine cutoff. Just a minute to go until that milestone with Electron and the IQPS payload remaining healthy. Reminder that this version of Rutherford is designed for the vacuum of space. So the glowing nozzle you see on your screen there is much larger than the sea level variant of the engine used on stage one. This large nozzle extracts more energy from the exhaust as it expands, increasing the performance of the engine. As we mentioned before, one of the final milestones coming up for this mission is SECO. Now we will see the second stage engine throttle down ahead of shutoff, then the kick stage, which the satellite is attached to, will separate and begin its coast phase. So let's listen in to mission control for the calls.
Seeker confirmed. And then uh, time for a bit of And stage two separation confirmed. At the T plus 56 minute mark, the Electron rocket deployed the QPS SAR-5 synthetic aperture radar for Kyushu Pioneers of Space Incorporated, or IQPS, a Japanese-based Earth imaging company. The Model 5 SAR will join a constellation of other QPS SAR-6 satellites already in orbit. Halo deployment confirmed. The satellite is designed to collect high-resolution images of Earth, even through adverse weather conditions. Congratulations to all at Rocket Lab for a mission well done. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you track every space launch.